What is up guys, it is your boy ncs 7 here, turning down the volume one notch, and welcome back to some more new Super Mario Brothers Dude Deluxe. So last time we did the entirety of the Spark Clean Waters world, and now we were going to world move on to this world, but we actually do have an, another world, not that way, to go to. So if you guys have been enjoying this playthrough and you guys want to see more new Super Mario Brothers content in the future, uh, make sure to hit the like button on this video because I told you to, and subscribe if you're brand new. But we haven't gone this way yet, and it's time to take on the Frosted Glacier. Oh my god, she's got the rings on her goddamn airship? Jesus. But now it's time to move on. Bop. Oh jeez. I actually lately have been playing a lot of- Oh Jesus Christ. I've actually lately been playing a lot more uh, Super Mario Maker 2, so I gotta get used to this game's controls. Jesus Christ. Jesus! No! Oh my god. Jesus, this is not my favorite. It's probably because of these. I don't care about that. Let's see. See if we can get to the end of the stage without losing this acorn suit. Oh, but anyways, I hope you guys have been having a good night because right now it's night in the game and look at that. Yeah, I hope you guys have been having a good day or night. I don't really know. I don't really know when you're watching this. But I hope you guys have been doing well and yeah. Feels really good to be doing more of this playthrough because honestly, like I said before, like honestly... Even though this game really isn't that interesting, is this an underground stage? No, it isn't. I don't think so. Oh, it's these things. Like, even though this isn't the most original Mario game ever, it's still so much fun, though. Something about it. It just, I don't know, it's just really good. I like the level design in this game. Wow, right into it, too. Nice, triple jump. Ooh, that was a save. Right into it, too. Oh my god. No! I was so close to getting the goal. Jesus Christ. Thank God. <laughs> Barely made it. Wow. That was a little... That was a little... And that was stupid. I could have made that. Oh well. Wow, only two stages to the fortress? I, I don't know. I don't know how many more stages. I think there's like four more stages. I think. <gasps> oh, I might want to edit that out. I'm not editing this video at all. Oh my god, these things. These ice those coals are more of a pain in my. I can make that. Oh my god. I love when you jump on their head, but it doesn't register as a jump on their head, so they just do that. Let's see. Nah, I'll just... I don't know. I wish you could use ZL to actually, like, 
when you're using the acorn suit, I wish you could just like do that. I don't know. I don't know why they. I because they. I don't know why they screwed up the controls with this game. Like I don't understand. It just. I don't know. I know there's an option in the game somewhere, but I don't. But it's a very cryptic way to do it, though. So. Ooh, both of them too. Wow, two of them. Oh my god. That, <gasps> wow, I don't know how I avoided that. Alright, good. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, that was close. I don't want to really kill that. Wait, you didn't even kill him. Wait. There we go. Really, that icicle was enough to do it? Wow, so many gruesome deaths wrapping in tonight. I'm death row. Not really. Oh no, oh no, oh no, get that. Wow. Jesus Christ, is this thing, why is this thing so damn long? Also, I believe we only have to play, like, like, technically, I think all I have to do is play technically, ooh, nice. I'd only technically have to play, t like, three more levels, but since I'm going to be playing through all the main levels within a world, that's going to make it a little longer. Alright. Now, what's it going to get? Is this the one where he flies? I don't know. No. Watch this. Look at this. He why seriously? Why make a boss that just doesn't do anything? I know but I know like Mario bosses aren't supposed to be that hard, but god damn. That was way too easy. Jeez. The fact that he's in almost every world is so sad. Somebody has some weird, weird attachment to him. Oh, wait, are there five levels? Jeez, I thought I was gonna make it past that. Okay, this is the one where they target the, those spiky balls. The spiky balls that shows the true men in our society. That is a glacier of some kind. I don't know what I'm going on about. Wow, we a die. Barely made it. Damn, barely made it. <laughs> oh man, that was actually pretty good. So we do have a ghost house we have to go through. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got two, we got a bit of an option. I'm gonna do this one first. Nice. All right, let's do this one. So yeah, this is technically the fourth stage. Honestly, I have no clue why they brought this game to the, um, what is it, uh, Nintendo Switch, because it's, 
it's very weird because I don't know. It's very strange because oh, actually, uh, something I should probably remember. Is this the stage for? It? Okay, so this specific area right here, you can actually use this to get unlimited like one ups. But I'm not gonna do that because I don't really need that. Just an FYI to people who don't know, that's the place you can get infinite lives in this game. Uh, but as I was talking about, I don't really understand the reason that Nintendo actually like put this game on the Switch. Because, here's the thing, Mario Maker 2 must have been in development sometime within 2018. And that's when they planned this game to release on the Switch. So I find it kind of strange that they would put this game on the Switch because, like, Super Mario Maker 2 is like $60 as well. And that game gives you so much, oh, it gives you so much more to do, but here, I mean, yes, this game has a lot of content, yes, but Super Mario Maker 2, there's endless levels, and there's a lot more game types as well, and there could be a lot more creativity with that game, so I find it kind of weird that they would even put this game on the Nintendo Switch. Ooh, I was so close. Okay, I need to be careful. I mean, I don't know, May okay, this is the underground level. I mean, I don't know, maybe Nintendo just want, I mean, okay, let's be honest here, Nintendo probably did it just because they wanted that uh, green stuff. I mean, technically, they are one of the most uh, rich companies, if not possibly the richest company in Japan right now, so, yeah. But instead of actually making games that people want, they instead just re-release older games or just do nothing at all. Like, seriously, Pikmin 3... Are you serious? Alright, well I have a flower over here. Like seriously, Pikmin 3 Deluxe? Yeah, instead of giving everybody a Pikmin 4, which is what every Pikmin fan wants, let's just do Pikmin 3 Deluxe instead, when we could have released that years ago. And also announced that we were working on Pikmin 4. The actual sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild coming out? No, instead we'll just do a, another Warriors game. Which, to be fully honest, to be serious though, Age of Calamity definitely will be a good game, but the problem with it is that it's not fully an, uh, an original IP, like, first-party Nintendo game, as the game is being co-developed by Koi Tecmo, so, I don't know, it, it's one of those things where it's like, it's not even necessarily Nintendo who made the game, it's more so, like, Koi Tecmo. Oh, I got the top area. I didn't even know that. I was just going as fast as I could. But I find that so stupid because it's like, Nintendo's barely been releasing anything and the only game they have for like 2021 is Super Mario 3D World. Again, a port. Although Bowser's Fury does seem somewhat interesting, even though we haven't even seen anything of that mode yet, which is annoying as hell because we've seen so much of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, yet we can't even see like, goddamn Bowser's Fury because that might even be pretty interesting. But nope, we're not going to get to see it. And that's the only game we have for 2021. Unless Breath of the Wild 2 and Metroid Prime 4 actually happen, which I'm very doubtful on. Oh, I hate this stage. I hate the... I hate these boost stages so much. Oh my god, I hate these stages so much. I'm gonna assume this one. I don't like boost stages at all. Like, I'll be honest, I love Luigi's Mansion, but I hate the boot. Like, I hate almost every haunted house stage in the Mario games. Like, they're so annoying. And I don't even think this is the right room. Jesus. But yeah, I wish Nintendo would actually make some more damn games because it'd be really fun. I wish I could get excited for more stuff, but no. Instead, I'm but instead I'm actually more excited for stuff that's coming out on like PlayStation Five because Nintendo's just not releasing anything. And I get COVID nineteen has been particularly harsh on them, but come on, Sony and Microsoft released the like PlayStation Five and the Xbox awful name. Are you really are you really serious when telling me like oh they couldn't do better? Like, they, like, Nintendo really couldn't have at least one big game for the holiday season. I mean, maybe it's Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, but honestly, I just don't see it. Because, 
I don't ever remember Hyrule. Oh, jeez. Because I don't remember Hy the original Hyrule Warriors being like that big of a game in the first place. At least in the definitive edition. It's not to say it's a bad game at all, but the fact that there's. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me! Wrong way? Oh. I, again, I hate these stages, so. Yeah, oh my god. Why are, I, why are these stages some of my least favorites in like all of 2D platformer games? Ugh. But like seriously, I'm more excited for stuff on the... But like, Microsoft and Sony can do so much, but... Nintendo can barely do anything, because... I don't know. Okay, now I'm starting to get kind of pissed off, because... I, I really don't like the Boo House stages. Thankfully, I think there's only like two more in the game, and that's it. Let's go in here. I don't know. Nintendo needs to release some more damn games. Oh my god. Oh wait, this is the one where you just have to jump. All right, jump as high as you can. I think up there is the final star coin, so... Yeah, you gotta jump fast, though. Jesus, we're flying around to that hell. Surprisingly enough, it doesn't really seem like Luigi is really that scared in... Ooh, we got the 8 bit Mario music. I'm surprised he wasn't that scared in that haunted house, honestly, because... He seems to be scared of other haunted mansions as well as a haunted hotel, but I don't know. Alright, I don't even like stars. I, I like some stars, but I don't really like that one. I don't know, they're kind of useless to be honest, because you can't really use it whenever you want. I mean, I know that would be kind of overpowered, but at the same time, really? Alright, let's... There we go. Let's go. The Shifting Castle. Oh boy. I don't know. I hope Nintendo makes some more games in 2021 because with 2020, they just have not done enough. Ooh, that was a good save. They just haven't done enough. And I would really. Oh my god, I'm about to repeat. <laughs> wow. Wow, I'm getting very. I don't know what the hell's happening. It wouldn't be so bad if Nintendo at the very least had more games come out. Like, seriously, this year they've only really had Animal Crossing New Horizons, Xenoblade Definitive Edition, which isn't even a new game. Um, let me think. The Clubhouse game, which, that's for a very specific demographic. And the same can also be said for uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions. FE Encore, which is for a very specific number of people. Uh, Paper Mario the Origami King, which I'll admit was a very good game, to be honest. It was a very good game, regardless of your opinion on it. Um, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which was literally just re like re-releases of three old 3D Mario games, which while still really good, it will. It wasn't anything new, and then Pikmin 3 Deluxe, literally a port of a Wii U game, when you can buy the Wii U version for like twenty dollars, but but the Switch version is sixty dollars. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Know. I really hope Nintendo hasn't gotten too greedy. I mean, I'll be honest. I know that every business's like main goal is money, money, money. But at the same time, they need to really, they need to do more stuff on demand. Like. At least with, like, some other companies, at least it's clear that, like, at least we're getting more games from, like, PS5. Like, uh, actually, lately, um, just a, like, week or two ago, uh, Miles Morales finally released, and actually, Jesus. Jesus. I actually did, and by the way, I actually platinumed, um, Spider-Man Miles Morales, by the way. Not to brag or anything. Ow! 
But yeah, I actually did Platinum Miles Morales, and that was actually really good. And they got so many other games coming out. They had Sackboy Adventures as well, which I might get that soon. Also, for the record, I don't have a PS5 yet. I, I actually played the PS4 version of Miles Morales. Hopefully I can get a PS5 particularly soon. I'll probably talk more about the PS5 in the next part, but yeah, they're like so many other companies are releasing so many more games whereas instead of like Nintendo actually doing a good idea and actually making some big brand new games, instead we're not getting almost anything. We just haven't gotten much this year. But I think that'll do it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed my kind of rants on Nintendo not making games at all and watching me play new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. So if you guys want to see more new Super Mario Bros. content on this channel, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Take care. Sorry if that was a little abrupt, but at the same time, upload time.